Well, Indiana is seeing another record number of COVID cases. On Saturday, the state reported more than 5,000, and on Sunday, more than 4,600 cases. And now this is causing some changes to Indiana schools. Karen is live this morning with the schools going virtual starting this week. Karen? Hey, good morning, Julia. Yet yeah, we just learned this morning that uh, some schools have made these changes due to that surge in COVID-19 numbers. So this morning we learned that Mill Creek School Corporation, they're going online today and tomorrow. So of course, this is all uh, in an effort to keep kids, staff and faculty, everyone in the school system safe. So there are more schools to talk to you about. So we also learned this morning that Benton Community School Corporation will be closed today and go virtual for the rest of the week. So other school districts are also making these changes like, uh, of course, you know, we mentioned uh, Mill Creek starting virtual today and tomorrow. Center Grove Schools has decided to continue in person learning at this time. So that means Greenwood Middle and High School students, they will begin a hybrid learning schedule starting today. That means students with the last names that begin with the letter A through L will have in person classes Mondays and Tuesdays and then remote learning on Thursdays and Fridays. Now, students with the last name starting with the letter M through Z. Those students will have remote learning on Mondays and Tuesdays and then in person classes on Thursdays and Fridays. So there are many more schools that are making changes. Of course, you know, we can't announce them all during this uh, minute that I have here uh, for you, but we do have all this information for you on our website. Uh, so before you head out the door this morning, just log on to WTHR.com and we have all the schools that uh, we know of as of this morning that are making changes or closing uh, back to you. All right, Karen. Yeah, I mean, that's a, a, a great necessity at uh, our website, WTHR.com. And as COVID-19 case, the count, the case count continues to surge, breaking records nearly every day. President-elect Joe Biden is ready to take action. Today, he's going to announce his own coronavirus task force. CNN's Britt Conway shows us how medical experts say that team is going to have to hit the ground running. A pandemic full of grim milestones. And it's not slowing down. We're just heading into the very worst of this pandemic. All hands on deck. We need sort of an all hands on deck approach. Medical experts agree we are at a tipping point. We are in a four alarm fire and we need to not only get everybody uh, to stop the fire, stop it from spreading, but also figure out what caused the fire in the first place. That's what President-elect Joe Biden is hoping to do with his new coronavirus task force, a team of 12 to be headed by three co-chairs, former Surgeon General Vivek Murthy, former FDA Commissioner David Kessler, and Yale University's Dr. Marcella Nunez-Smith. As for the other members... What I want to see is a breadth of expertise, economists, sociologists, or, or uh, people who've worked in government in other roles. They'll be announced Monday, and there are three areas a number of medical experts are hoping this task force hones in on right away. The first is a very clear emphasis on masks. The second thing is data. We need great data on not just tests, but also PPE and eventually on vaccines. And then the third thing that I want to see is improved testing capability. And they'll have their work cut out for them. By the time that the Biden-Harris administration takes over, this virus is going to have already run rampant through communities across the United States. It's going to take them weeks, if not months to start trying to turn things around. I'm Britt Conway reporting.